great network, uh, network of folks and uh, it's a high caliber discord that um, needs to be run. You're not paying your rent with the, the premium membership. I know that. No. Um, you're using it to help the members. And I think that is the difference between you and most discords. Good afternoon, Michael. Thank you for your time today. Uh, you've been with myself in and out of groups and in calls for a long period of time. You've known me for a while and you are in Centurion Education Group. And I really appreciate your time as the first member review of many, which I'm excited for. And I've got a couple questions today for you, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So we've got a list. And the first question is, is where did you begin your background in trading and understanding the market? Yeah, so this kind of started when I was really young. My, uh, my stepfather, he was a financial advisor for Ameriprise Financial. I uh, had like Disney, Microsoft, and Ameriprise stock back in like 08 maybe. Okay. Uh, but that was probably my first like exposure to the market. I, he didn't really teach me much. He just kind of was like, yeah, the stocks are good and this and that. Um, and I, I've taken accounting classes and finance classes throughout high school. Uh, one of those was essentially just documenting the teacher's trades, uh, which didn't help, but it, it also brought me exposure to the markets and uh, you know, using a brokerage to deploy capital. Uh, and so I'd say probably school and then my stepfather was probably my first initial exposure to the markets. Okay, got it. Uh, second question, what steps did you take to further the understanding that you just mentioned to me? Uh, did you join any groups? Did you have a mentor, anybody that you worked closely with? Yeah, so I joined a couple different discords while, uh, you know, through the learning process, and I enjoyed taking the classes I did and speaking with the people I met, but they didn't really help me progress, uh, nor were they really meant to. I, I feel like I don't have to explain why the state curriculum class was not meant to help me excel, but um, my experience with other discords is a lot A lot of people will want you to just follow their, um, their plays or whatever they post, and that's that's right. They don't really go into teaching you the fundamentals of the market or even the fundamentals of your specific strategy, right. uh, which is the reason I like Centurion. I like you, <laughs> I mean, you, you help me out uh, not only with the fundamentals, but advanced fundamentals with like derivative strategies, option spreads, uh, things like that. Uh, but yeah, the, right. the other discords, they just, they weren't, they weren't as good. <laughs> well, I, I, appreciate, I appreciate that, and I'm, and I'm very happy to help in any way that I possibly can. Um, you and I have had a lot of great conversations, and I've got to also see you progress for a long period of time. Um, and, you know, whether or not I've helped, you've done an cr incredible job, incredible job over the long term. So you've improved an unbelievable amount. You've learned a lot, and now you're at a point where you're more of a teacher than you are a learner. Now, we're always constantly learning, right? But that's, that's very important, and, and I appreciate the compliment. So. All right, so what has been your perspective slash experience from the Discord and live calls with myself? Yeah, so a lot of the guys in the Discord, uh, some of them work around indicators or built algorithms. Um, you know, I have a little bit of a different approach to the markets. Uh, with, now with the smart money concepts, who knows, but uh, I have a little bit different approach to the markets. And uh, But what I still love about this Discord is that even though I have a different trading strategy than say you or uh, other members of the Discord, we're still able to communicate as a collective and still uh, you know, bounce ideas off each other. Hey, I think this looks good. Oh, okay, well, here's that. Just to give you the confluence or something. Um, but yeah, this Discord's been really helpful, even though not everybody's trading off the same you know, two moving averages crossing over than <laughs> they're still able to give you value and help you with your own trading strategy. Well, I appreciate that. So do you feel as though you could ask me any questions at any time during the live call? Am I easily accessible? Yeah, I mean, you, I think you know this answer, but yeah, I'll, I have uh, no problem asking you a question if I have one, but um, more specifically for any new members that are looking to join, uh, it's, a, it's a super safe environment. Um, you know, nobody's gonna yell at you for asking a stupid question. There are no stupid questions. Um, we're, everybody's here to learn, everyone's here to teach and just, get better. And so I think that's, uh, 
that's why I think the Discord is helpful. Well, you've been a member for a while and you've been with me for a while, so I, I really appreciate that perspective. That's very important. So from when you started your investment journey to the present day, what has changed? What have been, and I know you and I have talked about this so many times, but I'd love to hear it again. <clears throat> yeah, so a general answer would be my mindset has changed towards trading. Um, more in-depth answer though, my long-term mindset has really excelled. Um, cash flow and just having cash flow coming in and out is um, something that you've taught me well. Like uh, we, we spoke about savings accounts uh, the, what, a couple months ago? Yeah. And I was, I was really debating opening a savings account and all you did, you were like, cover books. <laughs> Well, and you just you explained it to me, and you explained how to use your cash for the better, honestly, rather than the buying options. Which buying options is one thing, but when you're selling them, that's where the cash flow comes in. Right. No, absolutely. And to, to reference what Michael mentioned, it, what I do is if I've got a lot of capital on hand that I don't want to utilize, and I've talked about this in our YouTube videos, I, I sell covered puts against it. And if I want to make sure that it doesn't get exercised, I sell covered puts so I at least make two to three percent in a month. Uh, without the risk of getting exercise, so I still have that cash flow coming in, and it's very important considering a savings account's interest rate is 0.01 percent annually, maybe at best. So that's not even coming close to countering inflation, especially at these levels. So that was a conversation that we had, and Michael came up to me and asked me. He said, "Clayton, what do I do about the cash that I'm sitting on if I don't want to allocate it to the market?" And I say, "Well, I use cover puts because I want to generate cash flow. I want to generate money. I don't want to sit on my hands." So that was, I remember that conversation. That was like, that was almost at midnight one night where you and I were talking about that. I was driving. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I was on the, I was on the road to go see my chief operations officer actually. So that was a, that was a phenomenal conversation and something that a lot of folks can do if they don't want to sit on, you know, a large amount of cash in their savings account. So, yeah, all right. Most certainly. And it's not hard. It's right. Not hard. No, it's, <laughs> if I, like I everybody says this, but if I can do this and I can, I can articulate it and show it and make it very simple. That's because A, it might be something complex at first, but if I can simplify it, I spent some time doing it and it is really not all that difficult. So, okay. In regards to the Discord, in regards to myself, in regards to what you're looking for, and you personally, what do you need help with the most? Yeah, so uh, risk um, has been something that I've been focused on a lot recently in the past couple of months, uh, really getting a systematic R factor, um, which just means having a consistent risk throughout all of your trading and making it just as systematic as possible. Um, you know, I can enter a trade and I can tell you exactly how much money I'm on if they're going to lose or make. And uh, that was something that I needed to work on a lot. And, you know, I still need to work on it. It's risk, like you said, we're always learning and pre uh, making ourselves better. But risk is one of those things that I think is probably one of the most important things that you need to have mastered and constantly learning just so you can always stay on top of the money that you're using. Yes, sir. This is more of a personal question between you and I. Uh, how has your trading and understanding of the market changed since you first met me till now? Tremendously. Uh, <laughs> I used to use, I, I really want to say that my ideology when I first was getting in the market was, oh, look, it's, it's going up. I need it. I need to buy in now, and it's just. And then I add an indicator and make it a better strategy, but it's just it wasn't there. And you really you taught me the, the fundamentals of price action in itself. Uh, options aside, um, utilizing the triple leverage of the Nasdaq, for example, um, or spreads, you, where you're used uh, using a specific price action on the underlying to kind of gauge where you're where you're going. I think. Uh, I, I kind of lost what I was trying to say. No, that's Sorry. okay. That was, that was perfect. I appreciate that. So, have, have any of your habits changed since you met me and listening to the live calls that I've conducted on a daily basis? Yeah, most certainly. I've, I've been a lot more disciplined. Uh, I, that's just number one off the bat. I, I was more spontaneous. I used to be very spontaneous in my trades and my entries and exits. I just... Boom, 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 boom. I'd always want to be in something, not something, uh, which I've kind of realized. And that I've learned through losses as well. You can't just do that. But I've, you guys have also helped me when, uh, when 
like, oh, I think I might enter a call here. And you're like, well, we're in the middle of a range. What do you think you're doing? And you, you help me kind of, kind of stay on track. Well, I don't. I want to make sure not to provide any advice, but I, I always, if I've got information, yeah, yeah. I provide it, and I make sure that everybody understands where my head's at. And if that's information that could be helpful, great. Um, but again, I want to make sure that I'm. If there's something that I, that's on my mind, and Michael, you do a great job of this. If I say, hey, this is what I'm looking at, and this is how I understand it, there's been many times where you've challenged me and asked me, Clayton, explain to me why you see that, and explain to me why you're looking at it that way, and what you plan to do, and why you plan to do it. And then there's been times where you challenge me further and say, Clayton, I see something completely different, and here's why. And that creates an incredible community dynamic, which I, I think is incredible. So Yeah, and I, I think uh, also independent thinking has been another thing that I've learned. Uh, I, uh, we, we do have a, an alert channel, uh, and that is awesome for what it is. Um, however, in other discords that are strictly focused on the alerts, that doesn't really build an independent mindset. And um, this Discord has really helped me build an independent mindset and make trades on my own, think about the trades on my own, and enter and exit on my own. I appreciate that very much. Yeah. Okay. So ultimately, when our Discord does become paid in January, which I'm very excited for, do you believe that $50 a month is a fair value for the information that we offer and the value that we try to provide? Yeah, and I, I, uh, I think you and I both know where that money is going. And that's, that's just straight back into the server and the maintenance of running the Discord of this caliber. I mean, you, we have a, um, a great network of uh, men and women. Well, right now it's just men, but <laughs> great network, uh, network of folks and uh, it's a high caliber Discord that um, needs to be run. You're not paying your rent with the, the premium membership. I know that. No. Um, you're using it to help the members. And I think that is the difference between you and most Discords where others are, they're trading, but they might not even be live trading. They're just making a thousand bucks a month off of their members, which is kind of, it's not good. But I, I know that I know that you don't really need that money for your rent or food or anything like that. I know you're going to be taking care of everyone in the, in, inside of the Discord, so I think that's uh, more than fair. Well, it also uh, it also filters out the the people that are looking to get rich quick, uh, which which is nice. Well, I, I appreciate that very very much, um, and I'm trying to make sure that it's a fair price point for the value that we offer. But I also want to make sure that the company has income, so everybody who's working within it as well as the different softwares and services that we'd like to provide are funded and they're the best of the best, whether I have to fund it personally or whether or not we have enough members in the Discord to fund it. Uh, but either way, I'm very, very appreciative of that. So a uh, follow-up and our final question is, what would you like to have available as a member in our Discord community in the future or in present day? Yeah, I, uh, I think it'd be cool to have like a friendly competition, uh, maybe not a dollar gains, but maybe a percentage gain to level up the playing field to all account sizes. Um, maybe with birdies, hundred percent every day, we might we might have a clear winner. But I think a, like a friendly competition, like you know, maybe the top gainer of the week or the day, um, I think something would be cool along those lines. Yeah, we have we have a couple of, of very very professional, experienced traders that are in there on a daily basis. And some of us are churning out some phenomenal percent returns daily and day after day. And uh, I, I know you're doing the same and you're doing very well yourself. So you'd be very competitive in that. And that's something that we could definitely consider. So I appreciate that. So Michael, that concludes the questions on my end. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah. Uh... Well, if you don't have them, that's okay, but I'm happy to answer if you do. I'm not, I don't think I have any questions right now, but maybe I'll think of some and let you know. Okay, well, well I can just text you because it's easy. Yep, you can, you can Discord me immediately. I'm always on my computer. So uh, yep. one of the things that we are also going to do on social media as soon as we can get it implemented is we are going to do a question of the day. So we're going to take a short form post. And we're going to take a question from one of the members, if not multiple, if we have a lot of questions one day and we can spread it out if we need to or post multiple videos. 
but we're going to take a question of the day and we're going to say, hey, we had a, this is our member question of the day, X, Y, and Z, and here's how we are uh, answering that question. This is what it looks like. So I, I think that, that would be great, and I'm looking forward to having you on that because I know you've had so many questions in the past, and I know I'm putting you on the spot here, so no worries there. Michael, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Yeah, very. I, I agree wholeheartedly. I, I, I really want to make sure that the voices of the folks that work with us on a daily basis that know me specifically uh, are able to provide whatever opinions and you know as, as much you know freedom of speech as possible in regards to their opinions, their you know reviews, you know, just whatever they have to say and whatever we can improve on because you guys are the clients, right? So you are, are the members. We're trying to do everything that we can in our power to provide you a one-stop shop. So, Michael, thank you so much for your time today. I couldn't be more appreciative, and I appreciate your responses and answers. You've been very helpful, and I'm looking forward to the, the next review, but this has been incredible. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me, Clayton. It's been a pleasure.